Uh, Gervonta, I'll just say something. He's a great fighter. I want to make that very clear. He's a great fighter, but he cannot stop what's going to happen Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance. Fight fans, welcome back. Are you really going to think this look at that impressive? He's a patient power puncher, developing into one of boxing's most ruthless finishers. Tag Davis with one big left hand has won the step. Well, easy work, man. Easy work. I'm the top dog. Calm and calculated 10 years after his debut, this prime specimen is a different animal. Davis walking forward, walking through fire. Here, we take a look at the second part of before and after fighting Gervonta Tank Davis. I'm going to walk you to the deep waters and I'm going to drown you. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. You had to really start taking a look at Tank as that superstar. A lot of fans disappointed that uh, you don't get a chance to fight uh, Tank Davis. Man, I'll be you honest with you, it f***ing sucks, but it's okay. I mean, something if something better is gonna happen down the line, regardless. Look, I come from a city. You hear signs when we sleep. Heaven sent hands down. Man, if my lawyer is not here, I'm not allowed to talk about that. But let's just say it like this: that's some bull. That's some Simple bullshit. as that. Now you still want to fight Tank? No. I don't wanna fight him. When Rolando Romero withdrew, Tank was pitched with diminutive Mexican banger Isaac Cruz. I knew that he was on our radar and that he was eventually gonna be a guy that Tank had to face. He's gonna go over there, he's gonna knock out Pitbull Cruz in a round or so. Now I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna knock him out in a fucking round. Hey man, that guy, that guy the way too. I don't know a lot about him, but the highlights he's seen, he, he throws, he throws his feet. Yeah. yeah. He ain't ready, he ain't ready. On the gas look at his tapes, look at his, some of his highlights, man. That dude's a fucking, that fool, dude's a f rock, dude, and he keeps on coming and he throws, he throws a bad intentions. So. Untested at this level, Cruz was not about to let his chance slip by. You know, you said earlier that Tank has never fought anyone with your kind of power, aggression. His response is that people say that all the time until... It's different when, you know, when people get hit in the face. From a city, you hear signs when we sleep. Uh, we're here to win. We're here to win the world championship and defeat your bunch of days. Thank you. Good luck. These two guys are sort of mirror images of each other. You know, height wise, style wise, they're very similar. So I, I think this is going to go round. So I know this man is hungry. I know he's prepared. And I know he want to taste that world title. Just not now. He's, he's a pit bull. No one wants to fight a pit bull, you know. <laughs> He's tenacious. He's an he's an animal in there. So. The first round is your best round. Well, so for some fighters, it's that best round. So, if I could touch you that first round, then I know like down the line, it's over. Taking full advantage of Gervonta's mid-fight hand injury, Cruz forced the pace and narrowed up the cards. Defense on display by Tank Davis and that left uppercut. Cruz walked into it. I was impressed with Tank at the end of the night. Right hook by Davis. I was impressed with his defense. He was slippery. It was Tank's first time going the full 12. Gervonta Davis! I'm a hunter. Tank got his ass whooped. I'm going to say, you know what? He got his ass whooped. Easy fight from what I see. It's hard to criticize a performance like this where you beat a guy the way that you have to beat a guy. Appreciate it. Haney, Cambosis, one of those folks, maybe Garcia. Cambosis was here. You just saw what he did in his fight. And his opponent got... Most fight that makes sense with Styles is me and Javante Davis. I think that fight is, is a shootout. A lot like my my fight with Lopez. Ron continues to pour out of the cut. He's never been challenged like this. Yeah, he's a dangerous fighter, but so am I. And I'm a guy that's prepared to to to, to die on my my shield. Uh, all them guys is easy work. 
Hey, easy work, man. Easy work. I'm the top dog. He talks about Davis's power. He never hurt you, but is he a great puncher? Okay, so he respects the he respects the power, but he did what he had to do. If people can prepare. All Isaac did was fight harder and almost run him out of the ring. It should be more like Javante Rigandow, but we'll, we'll go with Davis for now. There's a left hook connect and a look at that combination. Down goes Gamboy. Rightly encouraged, Cruz carried his form into 2022 with a pair of crushing KO victories against Gamboa and Ramirez. Isaac's stock has clearly risen. Javante shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. Tank Davis is box office and one of the sports pound for pound best. But on Saturday, man, he's got his hands full. Just like his uh, big bro uh, Broner with Maidana when he beat the shit out of Maidana, is it going to be Broner Maidana too? You don't got the skills of Madonna. You don't even got them skills. Man, I punch harder than them, and I got way more skills than you. I was the one that forced it. I'm the one that activated the mantle. I'm the one that wanted this fight from what, 2018? Because I seen this real fing chump. With Raleigh Romero's legal issues resolved, the outspoken banger was reinstalled as mandatory challenger for Davis in a Brooklyn pay per view headliner. Look at this. I'm, a, I'm about to stop a fing legacy right now and start mine. I know boxing. And he has, and Rolando Romero had everything. He may not have the tech, technical parts of it, but he has what it takes to be Tank Davis. It ain't about the old this time. It's about respect. These two guys have been going at it for years. Unfinished business. His awkward style, how much will that pose a challenge to you, Sam? Um, Awkward is like different from him. He's not awkward. We know awkward fighters. Real fighters know awkward fighters. He's not an awkward fighter. He's just a dumbass fighter. Rolando Roly Romero. Multiple Bushman. <laughs> 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 he's scared. He's afraid of and I won't fing out for compared to him. He, 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 he's scared and he know I'm gonna knock him out. He know I'm gonna knock him out. He's terrified of me. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Using his size advantages to good effect early on. Romero's awkward style garnered success. Well, Romero thinks he can hurt him because he's going after him now. Oh, good body shot. I won all six rounds. I won every moment of that fight. I exposed him. Romero believes that he's the biggest puncher that Davis has faced, and Davis is showing him respect at this moment. Until his confidence caused him to square up, lean in, and receive the tank explosion. He ran into the shot. He ran into the shot. WBA lightweight champion of the world. Congratulations. Hey, you're the face of boxing. Congratulations. And the main event is a battle of two big punchers. Rolando Roly Romero making his first official fight at 140 pounds. In his most recent outing, Romero stirred even more controversy as he was gifted an extremely soft stoppage win. Whilst feeling the full, unrelenting pressure of Ismael Barroso. Power, he claimed, which far exceeded that of Tank. Oh, him, I ain't gonna lie, he punches way harder. Like when I mean way harder, I mean like every punch felt like a rock. Week stepped in and waved off the fight in favor of Romero. It was an inexplicable stoppage of a fight that Barroso was winning. That was the worst stoppage I've ever seen. I'd love to hear an explanation. He was actually landing the more impactful shots. Yeah, no, I'll be honest, it was a little premature. You know, I mean, he was hurt though. He was hurt. Like, I mean, you know, when you start doing the stinky leg, you're hurt, you know? They come see me, and, and, and I give them a real, they get a real check, yeah. a real check. Nah, I won't even say no real opponent, a real, you know what I mean, the champ. They get the champ. Preparing for Ryan Garcia while battling his own pressing legal concerns, a tune-up with Dominican upset king Hector Louis Garcia was arranged in anticipation of the super fight. Hector Louis! This is more than a show! 
Luis Garcia. And on the receiving end of a brutal performance from Garcia. Important to us. We're trying to take the hardest fight that everybody say we don't take. Because my little young guy got a lot on his mind. He's going to make y'all remember him. What's interesting about this fight is you talk to like boxing hardcore fans, right? And they're like, dude, this is a yeah. this is not a tune-up fight. Yeah, this guy's, you know what I mean? He's a legit opponent. I know who I am. I know what to do. And I'm the one who does the fighting. I know that I have my, my preparation has been good enough and I am ready to give 200%. One of your fighters, Hector Garcia, he upset Chris Colbert earlier this year. You better drop and see the shot for sure. Um, obviously, this is a bigger task than what it was with Chris Colbert, and I think anybody that uh, doesn't recognize that, you know, they'd, they'd be kidding themselves. My commands at all times, As the crowd rumbled outside the ropes, Gervonta sized up the smaller man inside, delivering a clinical left hand out of the blue on Garcia. Tank's shaken victim later described the devastating physical and mental effects the finishing blow had on him. When he hit me, I was on the defensive side. I tried to, you know, uh, go down a little bit. He hit me in the head. My eyesight went, you know, very quick away. But everything's okay now, right? There was nothing broken? Like your eyes fine? I have like 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 sparks or like little things that just, uh, I guess, rojo dentro de I have like red lines inside my eyes at the moment, but nothing's broken. I knew, I knew it was a shot that, that hurt him, but I ain't know it was just like like that. And not know where you are is crazy. So, <laughs> I, I did not know I, I hit him that hard. He's a taller fighter, a longer fighter. Were there any things you learned tonight that you can use against Ryan in April? Ryan Garcia, I'm knocking Tank out in two rounds. I truly believe I'm better than him. And I'm gonna take my place as the face of this incredible sport and bring a new generation of boxing fans with me. In boxing, the best very rarely fight the best. And fans have slowly grown tired of empty promises surrounding a Tank versus Ryan mega fight. I'm trying to tell you that I have a spirit of competition in me and you're gonna see that come out when I fight Tank and, tank and whoop his ass. What do you make of his comments uh, that he made to you and to Floyd? Yeah, Instagram fighter. We don't worry about him. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. However, as Oscar began to grow increasingly more vocal on Twitter, Ryan decided to to bypass the tune-up and go straight to a tank. It dawned that the prospect of two young unbeaten blue chip talents was finally upon us. Tank tricky, Ryan tricky, they're both fast as so like I said, man, the best man wins. It's gonna be entertaining fight. Y'all better tune in. How do you win the fight on Saturday night? Punishment, knockout. It's gonna be crazy, crazy. Don't blink your eye, don't get no popcorn. And here in round two, putting the pressure on Davis. Davis wanting to turn this into a wrestling match. Oh, and just missed with that sweeping left hook. Ryan brought the fire as promised. And that caught off with another right hand and Garcia with his best moments. But Tank's composure was exceptional. And every time Garcia set the crowd alight, he was met with something more slick, more crisp, and more devastating than anything he'd felt before. I was honored to be in the ring with a great fighter, and I respect him a lot, and uh, you know how the business goes, but I want to say, uh, you're a good man, bro. I didn't play it smart. I started getting bored in there, and I just started trying to press, and I ended up getting knocked out, so. A show of respect and credit where it's due. 
Ryan Garcia stepped up to boxing's ultimate test and will come again. Whilst Tank, with Haney getting the nod over Loma, will fancy his chances against the division's elite now more than ever. I'm going to be the face of boxing. Are you now? Is this the future of boxing? And still undefeated. I'm definitely the face of boxing. Absolutely. <laughs>